Well, hello, here we are for Q&A 87. Q&A 87, that's hard to say. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and get started with Sherry Baby. Question for your Q&A. Would you and Papa O be friends with a person that drinks socially or smokes cigarettes? Of course. Oh, I'll answer that. Of course we will. Uh, I lived in Europe for seven years, so all the people I associated with, mm -hmm. Uh, let's say 90% of them smoked and almost all of them drank. So the answer, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are, I'm amazed how sensitive they are to that. Uh, and they just don't drink or smoke around us. No, they don't. They, they really just don't. don't. They really don't. Um, and people that swear, they don't swear around us either. They Totally right. They totally right. just... I don't know, it's like they respect it or they know and they, they, I mean, we want to be friends and they just are very good at yeah, respecting. Not, yeah, not doing because that. Because they around like you as a person, yeah. they respect that and yeah. they don't feel at ease. To, uh, that, that's right. They feel uncomfortable and they, I don't know, they're just really I, nice I, about it. I skated indoors for 13 years. 12 or 13 years, and I, I associated with a rough crowd that drank and smoked, and probably a few of them did drugs. Uh, but they always, their language always changed totally mm -hmm. when they're around me because they like me as a friend. Yeah. You, you don't so even have it, to do it, it, anything. It, it, they just... Exactly right. I don't know. Uh, you don't have to tell them, stop doing that. Please don't do that around me. They just do it. I remember at the skating rink, Occasionally, if somebody didn't know, I I swore. Uh, I I've even had people that swear. Mm -hmm. Other people will. Other go uh, like this to their friends. They'll says, correct them and they'll, they'll say, correct somebody else and say, "Don't swear around him." Uh, I've even had one person say, "Oh, she, she's a church lady. Don't talk that way around her." Yeah, and I don't even have cute. to do it's any. I know cute. it's cute. Okay. Yeah, I don't have to do anything. They just do that, and and it's really cute. And that way, we can be friends and still. And, and, you know, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> um, okay. And Sherry Baby also says, what side of the family carries the redheads? It's beautiful. Um, I had, when I was younger, I had a tinge of red hair. Uh, so I think there's a little bit in my family and a mm -hmm. lot in your family. A lot in mine uh, and a lot in April's family. She says she has aunts and uncles that have red hair. Because I wondered that too. I said, where in the world did we get the redheads from? But then I said, oh yeah, I have an uncle that is redhead, Rex. And um, uh, we just loved him. And my mom always loved redheads. And uh, I think... Uh, you know, and I don't know April's aunts and uncles, but she says they have the red heads, and so that's just wonderful uh, to have that red hair. Um, okay, uh, Edelin. No, Ed and Jen. Oh, yeah, we did that last time. Okay, right, the kids totally score twice away. I can't remember what video it is. Okay, for the next Q&A, what are your children's professions or their spouses? P.S. Love the Halloween vlogs. Um, uh, okay, our children's professions or their spouses. Let's start with Johnny. And um, uh, Johnny. He's a he, professional, professional photographer and teaches. Uh, at the schools. And he teach, he's a black belt in karate, so he teaches, teaches at, a that. at a studio. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of a publisher of health books. Yeah, Claudia, his wife, she she uh, teaches seminars on what to do in, during disasters, after disasters, of how to take care of uh, plagues and things that happen after. And so Johnny, he puts together CDs and helps uh, put together her... her and they, uh, they go in different states and yeah. do, do lectures. What do you call that? Lectures. To, to, he yeah, schedules seminar, her seminar lectures. lectures. He schedules her lectures and stuff, so they're really good. And I'll put a link to theirs. It's uh, Healthy Preparedness is where Claudia, his wife, is. And then uh, Rochelle and Doug, my daughter Rochelle and her spouse, her husband Doug, they do uh, wedding videos. Vi uh, wedding videos and photography. And photo D Doug, her husband, does the video part and Rochelle does the photography part. And she does family video. Yeah, family, family photos. Yeah, she's really good at that. And that's All these what pictures they do. you see in the 
hallways that we have shown you now mm -hmm. and then they're all foot mm -hmm. fiber shell so. and davy and april used to do that um they used to do the weddings but then they split off and just doug and rochelle do the weddings now point digital and davy and april they do the superhero videos they oh, used no, to they don't do used those. to and they don't do them anymore now they do okay they are youtubers, YouTubers. and they're making a full-time good living mm -hmm. uh being full-time youtubers meaning uh -huh. they make viral vi videos about family in different situations yes and, uh -huh. uh, yeah so and april used to do hair 101 on youtube and and then she uh, put all her time into the superheroes and then they switched to uh, Kids Try and um, and they've been That's doing that. That's the name that. of the ch uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, uh -huh. okay and then uh, Julianne, our daughter Julianne, she uh, is an upholster and um, we'll put links to all of these and she she does upholstery out at um, in Price. And what does Justin do, her husband, spouse? He's, uh, I don't know. He, he, he switches a He has a, a professional lot. job. He has a... Yeah, he actually he works for somebody. He has a college education, and he, uh, he works for a company doing... Yeah. He used to work for the school, uh, and he'd help out, college. With, help out with scholarships mm -hmm. and giving kids scholarships and that. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I can't remember where he is now, but he, he does a professional job. And it's funny, all our kids do stay-at-home jobs. <laughs> and James Orgel, he's our... Chem chemical PhD, chemical engineering, yeah. and my, and his wife is a physician's assistant. Uh huh. PA. So they make a good living doing and that. And then Jimmy Joe James, he started up a YouTube channel called The Action Lab. We'll put a link to that, where he likes to show off his scientific. So he things gets viral. Closer. He gets viral videos there on YouTube, and so he's he loves doing yeah, that. Yeah, he he started that about a year ago. Then our last daughter Amanda, she does. Uh, she takes old furniture and re refurbishes it. Refurbishes it, makes it beautiful again, and uh, she calls hers uh, then and again. Is that right? Yeah, then and it again. It kind of restores it to an mm -hmm. old look. So if it's a beat up, some beat up furniture, mm -hmm. uh, that really well to do people will want kind of imitation old furniture. Yeah. And so she, that's her stay-at-home job that she does, that she can do while the kids are home. All our, all our kids stay at home because uh, they I, know how important that and is. I th and work. I think when they're little, we made them earn their own money mm -hmm. from the time they were very little. Yeah, and, by age eight. And uh, so they've always... We put them financially on their own at age eight. And it's paid off. Yeah. With every one of them, it's paid mm -hmm. off. Yeah. And uh, and then her husband, he works at, it used to be called Kennecott, and it's called Rio Tinto, Tinto yeah. now, uh, and that's where uh, he he works. So uh, we had to hustle through that Kennecott one. Copper, so it was the mm -hmm. largest copper mm -hmm. mine in the world. And that's where Joe used to live when he, for what, three years when you were I was 12 to five, 16? Yeah. Oh, yeah, wait. exactly. The 12 to 16. Yeah. yeah, is where he worked at Kennecott and then, I mean, lived where while his dad in, in worked. In a copper mine. Yeah. So that's what what uh, what they do. That's a good question. Okay, our last one, um, Sherry Baby. Does any of the family, does, does any of the family go to the same church? Uh, and if, I think she means attend the same chapel. Yeah, I think that's what she means too because we're all LDS. Uh, uh, LDS means Latter Day Saints, and uh, and it. It. Uh, um, and we, but we don't go to the same chapel because we live too far apart from each other. But we all go to the same church, and the LDS church they have the same le anywhere. If you were to go anywhere in the world, uh, they would. She kind of has two questions here. Yeah, well, Second let's answer one. the first one. Well, we don't attend the same building. Yeah, we don't same this, attend part, the same building. But we're in the same church. But if you, like, if I were to go to church in New Zealand, we'd be having the same lesson there as we are here. So it's organized enough that it's we teach the same things, but we attend different buildings. And then the second part of her question is... And if anyone loses trust in a person and wants to was let down pretty heavily how long and and what steps does it take 
to regain that, that trustworthy trust. feeling again. Good, que good question. I don't know that that's that can take so many different uh, answers. Uh, that it depends on the type of the type type of mm -hmm. letdown. If somebody uh, stole your house from under you or something, or trust somebody... is a hard one to earn back, but. Uh, it kind of goes hand in hand with forgiveness, like God wants us, you know, he warns us and uh, tells us that we need to forgive, but he doesn't talk about, you know, he doesn't say trust that person because that, you have to earn that back. Uh, like there's an old Chinese proverb that says, forgive the thief, but still tie up your camel. Uh, Chinese don't have camels, but. <laughs> so where'd they get that proverb but um uh so that trust like forgive the so person you, you can so forgive that forgive him but mm -hmm. but if you're losing sleep over bearing grudges then you're the one that's suffering more than the yeah person so you suffers. want to forgive that person because god give god tells us to do that because it will eat us alive but so the, the bearing a grudge will destroy you yeah and if you say uh -huh. if you think about it every day about what the person did uh you're you you are suffering the biggest loss out of that situation like it says and if someone loses trust in a person as well let what let down heavily and how long and what steps do you take you to may, that you may never again? trust them again yeah you may never you trust still them treat, again you still treat them it's actually not up to you to trust that person again it's up to that person to to earn that trust back let's give a suggestion like i mean an example i was going to say like, people that are in a, a federal prison those are the exact situations that our system has to decide that's mm -hmm. what judges have to decide yeah. can we trust that person yeah. out on the streets again and that's or, why they give them a or, certain or, amount of time yeah. in the prison to so it's different for every situation it's different uh, but the forgiveness that you must do or it will destroy you but the trust you that the person that lost your trust he or she has to be the one to earn it back and it could take years. But and they the may steps, they may not even care if you trust them again. You may think they do, but yeah. if they don't, you're losing a lot of time. And, and it's sad. It's a sad situation. But you can love them. You can be around them. But uh, let's say you're around somebody that's not that that's a liar or somebody that's steals things from you. Watch them and have you. You can have them around you, but don't trust them don't leave them alone with your possessions don't you believe everything can, they say you can love a person you don't trust that's right you can love them like especially if they're family like people that you associate with you can just cut them off and just not have anything to do with them but family you, i mean you're you're with them you're stuck with them <laughs> they're your family but just don't trust them it's, like it sounds like you're asking Somebody let me down, and I don't know whether to trust them again. Don't trust them unless uh, they they can prove. They have to regain, they have to re-earn that trust again. But you basically, I wouldn't spend a lot of time worrying about, am I going to trust mm -hmm. them again? Just mm -hmm. carry on your life, show them love mm -hmm. and appreciation. Yeah, forgive show them. Show them the same thing you show anybody, yeah. which is caring and helping out where yeah. you can. Yeah, just do the best. But they have to put the work in and regain that trust again. And There uh, are people you can never trust. Like our system, for example, on our phones, you can list all the pedophiles that live in, the, in your area. The system... Uh, makes decisions to not trust certain t mm -hmm. situations of people. Uh, and if that person gets mad at you, you say, why don't you just trust me and say, I I may never trust you again. I forgive you, uh, but it may take years for you to trust that person again. And he has you can, to You be, can forgive him and still not trust him. Yeah, mm -hmm, like, the, like the proverb, forgive the thief, but still tie up your camel. And don't... Um, don't worry about if but don't trust. lose sleep over it yeah don't lose sleep over you're the one that's suffering and you shouldn't be the one suffering like we had a family member that um you know had to do with some money and uh and and lies and i love that person 
we associate with with the person but the trust isn't there and it may never be but the love is there the forgiveness is there we laugh we have fun we associate but the trust isn't there yet yeah. and uh, who knows it may never come back in that certain area but you still carry on you still love you still forgive you still uh, associate so and, and I but think that's a very good question but sometimes you could turn that question around of have I let anybody down and caused that situation yet without knowing it because yeah. you can let somebody down and say I didn't know he wanted me to do this or expected this out of me yeah and that that's up to the other person yeah. to let you know, I guess. Okay. I oh, yeah, I know. We got to close. Yeah. Um, we we uh, get get rambling on here. So uh, those are really good questions. Make sure you keep your questions coming, and remember that I'm I'm doing the giveaway on uh, Mama knows about fences. That will be given in three weeks on the third q and a i would say only ask for it if you have some children you can show it to yeah if you if, <clears throat> but yeah if you it's a really good book it's actually for adults and children it's just the, learning about boundaries and, yeah the story the the moral story in it is for any age <clears throat> yeah any age so it's a really good book uh to help you to learn about the boundaries, you, how, you, what fences? If you are, don't say so yourself, the reason, the reason that there's, there's fences in our lives, which gives us boundaries to teach us how to stay on the right track. Okay, so um, my quote for today is: Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds <clears throat> that you plant. And here's one that can go apply to any subject. It's a day-to-day -day learning experience. Learning process, yeah. And I'm going to add on to that one. Mm -hmm. Learn from your mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and don't get discouraged. Uh, uh, each day that you live, um, you're learning. Uh, maybe you're doing really well, and uh, then you kind of slip back. You, you set your goals. You you progress. You do the best you can. And we're we're all learning as we go and doing the best that we can with what we've been given. I think one of the big, very big things in being happy and making progress in life is associate 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 with good people mm -hmm. that will influence you for good. Like if yeah, you, you want if you hang around build you up. if you hang around people that are negative and just constantly be negative, uh, it's okay. But if they're pulling mm -hmm. you in their direction, yeah, then it's not a good person to spend a lot and of time. And you think, with. oh, I should stay with that person. Uh, they they need help, and you say, well, if they're pulling you down <coughs> with them, it uh, then you you may need to break off. Like when we were talking about the prison, uh, me and Papa, oh, we taught family home evenings there for four years at once a month, yeah. and uh, eighty. <clears throat> one of the things that was hard for the inmates when they get released 85 percent of them c get back into prison because they go back to the people that put them there in the first place they go back they go to their back, old friends they go back to their old friends they didn't know how to break off they think well i'll go back to the ones that care about me see if they cared they wouldn't have you be doing these things that yeah. put you in prison in the first place and it's really hard to break them off of those people that are tearing them down so be strong enough to break away from people that are bringing and, you down and also br break away from uh maybe movies tv shows that are bringing out books bringing out negative things mm -hmm. that probably are not good for anybody to yeah. watch not just children but adults either and focus on things that will build you not exactly. tear you down yeah. and thinking oh i'm strong enough to resist these awful things say uh why put yourself through that uh that does not that does not make you strong that doesn't make you strong. So hopefully, uh, thanks for asking those questions and hopefully we answered them in a way that will be helpful and um, uh, uh, keep the questions coming. We're actually caught up on all our questions.
Okay, we uh, usually get way behind. But thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Make sure you share the videos if you like them. And By the way, uh, Mama O is now on Twitter. And she's... I'm a tweeter. And she tw tweets, and she's growing pretty fast because you can geometrically increase... Oh, big hand. <laughs> you have a scare them. Ge geometrically increase the people that watch you and yep. see what you do. So we're putting her videos there. And mm -hmm. uh, Thank you, and good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>